In this talk, I will have a summary of our XTGrasp paper. XTGrasp stands for Extra Dimensional Golden Angle Radio Sparse Parallel MRI, and it's a framework for free breathing MRI. Let's start with a very simple example. Imagine that we are doing a continuous data acquisition using a golden angle radio sampling scale. And if we only do a gradient reconstruction including all the acquired spoke, we may see some residual respiratory motion blowing. And if we load the respiratory motion singular, we can sort the acquired data into multiple motion state or multiple motion phase to resolve the respiratory motion. And of course, this data sorting process will generate some end sampling artifact. That's because the image at each motion state law is just reconstructed from a subset of the total acquired data. However, this sorting process also generates new dynamic dimensions. So that we can have some temporal sparsities, we can perform a comparison reconstruction along this new dynamic series to remove the end sampling artifacts. The XT grasp reconstruction can be formalized in this way. We are generating an extra dimension for respiratory motion so that we can just add an additional constraint along this new respiratory motion dimension. And this constraint can be combined with the constraint along the original dynamic dimension. This dimension can include contrast enhancement, cardiac motion, or even multiple echoes of flow encoding. We have demonstrated the performance of x grasp for two applications. The first application is the DCE MRI of the liver. So here, we use the stack of star radio sampling for data acquisition. And we can perform a Fourier transform along all the central case space points at each acquisition angle so that we can generate this so-called Z-projection profile. A resonant motion singular can be ex extracted from this Z-projection profile. Given the resonant motion singular, we can first sort the acquired data into multiple contrast phase. And for each contrast phase, we can further sort the data into multiple respiratory motion state so that we can have a five-dimensional image set. And the comparison and reconstruction can be performed to explore correlation along these two dynamic dimensions. Let's see a couple of examples. These two images are from grasp reconstruction that doesn't have any motion sorting. If we compare the GRASP results with XD GRASP results, we can see that XD GRASP achieved the improvement in vessel tissue contrast and the image sharpness. And this is not surprising because the result of GRASP is just the sum of results at each motion state in the XD GRASP reconstruction. This is another example, and we can see the similar improvement in XD GRASP reconstruction when compared with grasp reconstruction without any motion sorting. In the next application, let's see XD grasp for 2D cardiac senior MI. Here, we are using a 2D golden angle radio sampling, and we can detect the motion singular from the center of case space. Based on the fact that we are using multiple coil for data acquisition, and the frequency of cardiac motion and the respiratory motion are different, we can detect a cardiac motion from a coil element that is close to the heart and detect the respiratory motion from a coil element that is close to the diaphragm. Given the detected motion singular, we can sort the acquired data into a four-dimensional image set containing one cardiac motion dimension and one respiratory motion dimension. Compression and reconstruction can be performed to explore the correlation along these two dynamic dimensions. After image reconstruction, we can visualize the image along the cardiac dimension or visualize the image along the respiratory motion dimension to get some additional information. This example compares the conventional breathhold cardiac signal imaging with the XT grasp free breathing cardiac signal imaging. As we can see, XT grasp can achieve similar performance when compared with the conventional approach. This example shows that uh, in addition to conventional information, XD grasp also provides some additional information so that uh, we can study the movement of each cardiac phase along the respiratory motion dimension. To summarize, XD grasp is a new free breathing imaging framework. It's a new use of sparsity to deal with the periodic motion. It performs motion reconstruction instead of motion correction.
It also provides some additional information that would be clinically useful. However, the cost of increased dimensionality is the prolonged reconstruction time. And the performance of axial grasp was demonstrated for free breathing DC EMR of the liver and the free breathing 2D cardiac scene EMR in this paper. Thank you for your attention and hope you like our paper.